You know, all the dreaming and planning in the world is virtually meaningless without execution. The everyday and every day of classes, testing papers, deadlines, and have-to-dos, they've defined a large portion of your experience here. Or you may have enjoyed Fried Chicken Wednesday. I know you partied on Thursdays at f &Ms. And I know you enjoyed eating a good free food and groove to the bands on Friday at the Quad. <laughs> but you know what? Anybody can party. Doesn't take anything to groove to a band. And it's surely easy to eat good food. Graduating is an achievement. The pursuit of something worthwhile requires endless repetitions of tasks until their execution becomes muscle memory. And you, before us, have spent hours and hours in the woodshed. And for that, we salute you. New Orleans native and genius of gospel music, Mahalia Jackson, sang a song. I'm going to live the life I sing about in my song. Well, your life is your song. And though you have successfully lived the life of a student who is now a graduate, you deserve to celebrate, but don't rest. The world is a cauldron of action. In January 2006, at the reopening of Tulane after Hurricane Katrina, I was given the honor of addressing returning students. At that time, I said education's purpose is to lead students to who they are, what they can be, and who they want to be. That's what I said. But you know, the best way to be is to do. And when we, as teachers, passed on the best of what we do, that is quality education. And to do, we must pursue. The great drummer Elvin Jones, who fueled John Coltrane's classic quartet in the 1960s, used to say, we endeavors to pursue. And your families have endeavored to support and love you, and your teachers have endeavored to educate and encourage you, and counselors and mentors have endeavored to protect and guide you, and your friends have endeavored to embrace, corrupt, and entertain you. <laughs> and you have pursued the goals of each to a magnificent conclusion. For that, we applaud you.